All right, the purpose of this tutorial is uh, because I couldn't find any information in chat rooms or forums or on YouTube or anything like that to show me how to accomplish what I wanted to do. I'm a technical engineer for, uh, for my church. We do a lot of recordings. We do a lot of uh, crazy fun stuff. And I wanted to be able to mix down our services, our praise and worship services, or any kind of uh, recording that I wanted to make uh, back through the Midas uh, Venice F32 board. So the first thing that we want to do, I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing we want to do is you want to go up here to Logic Pro. You go to Preferences. You make sure that your FireWire is connected from the board, uh, from your soundboard to, your, to the back of your computer or to your laptop, whatever you're using. You go into Audio. Then you'll pull up a little window here that says Output Device or Input Device. You want to make sure that that is on Midas FireWire or Midas FW. Uh, then you'll apply the changes and you can close this. What that will do is it'll enable you to use this little button here, this stereo out button. You click and hold. It'll have a drop down menu. You click on that. You run over to the mono. Now you can see all 32 output channels for the Midas. And what you do is you go through those channels, each one of the channels, and it's kind of tedious, but you have to go through each one of the channels and you assign the output channels uh, that you want for those individual channels. So say we had channel 6 would be output 6. Uh, I'm on 3 so it's output channel 3. Um, this is simple, it's tedious, and it just takes a little while to uh, to make that happen. So let me get that done. Okay, so here we have the Midas uh, Venice F32. It's a Firewire uh, enabled 32 channel board and what you will see is right here you'll see a little green button that says Firewire and if we focus in on that what you want to do is you want to push this button right here till the light lights up and you want to do that on every channel and so as you can see I've got all of the channels uh, that are going to have signal running through them uh, lit up uh, make sure you don't hit the direct out uh, the Firewire and direct out flip switch or the pre EQ post EQ uh, make sure you don't hit that because it'll mess up your EQ settings um, other than that, that's really all that you need to do on the board uh, settings to enable the uh, firewire signal to come from the computer back into the board. Uh, one other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you set everything at Unity. Everything that's going to have uh, sound coming through it, set it at Unity. That way you have a nice representation of what's coming from the computer. Everything should be at about the same level and you can adjust your levels in the computer instead of having to do those on the board. Since the last video, I've gone through and, uh, as you can see here, I've gone through and assigned all of the outputs to the individual channels. Um, you want to make sure you do this so that each channel will come through the Midas board in the appropriate slot. You can assign whatever channel you want to whatever channel. We use this in a worship setting, so I have the program, I have Logic Pro set up exactly the same way as my board. So channel one in Logic Pro is also channel one on my soundboard. Uh, channel five is my Tom 2. Uh, so everything's labeled exactly the way it is on my soundboard to keep confusion down and this is also to keep things nice and and tidy in this uh, in this video. But what you do once you assign those outputs you literally can push play and all of the sound will come through the soundboard. Let's give that a shot right now. Okay, so we, we see how that works. Uh, so it's, it's really easy to do. It's very simple. A uh, simple setup, it's just tedious and it's, it's kind of time consuming to do, but it really helps with your mixing and your mastering. Uh, and you're using the exact same system that you recorded uh, the recording on. So you have a very neutral environment because you know what it's supposed to sound like and then you can add your EQs and your compression and everything else to get it to sound the way you want it to sound. So that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching.